Hey guys, it's Dee from San Remo. Today I'm gonna to be showing you on the F18 multi-boiler, the barista menu. So come in close and I'll show you what the icons all mean. So to gain access to your barista menu, all you'll need to do is hold down the three line icon. Hold it down and it will take you to your first screen for your barista menu. Icon at the top is just your power button. So if you select that and press yes, it will shut down your machine. We'll go back now. The next icon is your auto on and off function. Making sure that if you do set this, it's obviously numbers, but if you don't want this on, it is very important that you have it dash, 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 dash. Or if you have it at zero, it will mean that it's going to turn off at 12 a.m. Okay, so it's super important that this is set for dash, dash, as you can see. We'll go back. The next icon is your total amount of coffee for each group. So we've got counters for group one, and then if we go over and then we've got counters for group two. Okay, so that's just your total amount of coffees and teas that you've made on the machine. We'll go back now and then we've got barista lights. So to turn off your barista lights, save to turn them back on. Making sure that whenever you see a blue symbol or blue numbers that you do save it to save whatever parameters you just changed. We'll go back now. Next is heating cup. So this is your cup warmer. It's set for on and the screen over is your cup warmer temperature. You can go up. Just remember when you do make a change, you do save. We'll go back. Cleaning cycle. So if you activate a cleaning cycle now, to turn it off, you can press the buttons. So at this point, we'll go to the next screen. So the arrow across, it will take you to your next screen. So the next icon I'm gonna show you is the alarm. So any sort of alarms that will come up in the machine, it will list them here. For example, AL7 could potentially mean that you have a blockage on your group head. It will come up here and it'll tell you exactly what's wrong with the machine. We'll go back. The next icon I'm gonna show you is your group head temperature icon. So we'll select that. And the first one that comes up is group one. Group one is set for 90 degrees. If you did wanna change it again, we'll change it up, save it, and then we'll scroll over to group head two and the group head two is set for 93 degrees. You can set your group heads individually, so you can have 93, 92, 94, whatever you desire, each group head. So we'll go back, pre-infusion icon. So pre-infusion set for off on group one. So we'll scroll through, pre-infusion set for on on group two. So if I was to go back and set pre-infusion back on, press yes, the button over, will be your pre-infusion time for each key. So we'll scroll through, so group one, key one, and then it'll go through key two, three, and four, and then it will go to group two. So I can set group two off if I like, and then it won't have the next option to have pre the pre-infusion time. But say I wanted to set it back on, press yes, we'll scroll over, but I want group two, key one, to be zero, pre-infusion, but I still want pre-infusion on group two, key two. So I have the option to have a button on and a button off or a group on or a group off. So that's a really cool option. So we'll go back now. And the last icon I'm gonna show you is your volumetrics or your dose or your espresso in your cup. So with ML, so we'll select that and then it will go through again. So we've got group one, and it's key one, so we'll keep scrolling through and it will show you all the functions, all the keys that you can program. So again, even when you're in this part here, it's very important that you increase, if you do increase, you make sure that you save because any increases or decreases without a save will revert back to the previous setting, okay? So we'll go back out now and to go back to your main display screen to show you all your parameters, while you're making coffee, we'll press back again and it will take you back to this function. There is a function here that you can press where it can individually show you time, your group head temperature, your steam boiler temperature, your pressure and your bar pressure here as well. And then obviously your date and time at the top of the screen. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to place them below and we'll be sure to get back to you or you can get in touch with one of our team members and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, bye.